join us today as we kind of revisit this neglected Japanese maple forest. Well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, so this is uh, early June, and this is what this guy kind of looks like. Um, it had its uh, sec first trimming um, in around early April after the first push. And this is the second push. Um, there are some weak areas that need kind of address. Um, let me back up the camera a little bit. There we go. You can see the overall view. Um, I got a little bit of powdery mildew in this corner. Um, it just, it was a really big bush. And I kind of trimmed everything back. Um, that was April. Um, and then I kind of sprayed it down uh, with um, a fungicide. And that kind of helped all that powdery mildew. Not mad this year. Just kind of spots here and there. Um, and I'm going to cut most of that off today. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit in some spots. Um, so this has recovered pretty well from last year. Let me zoom in there. Um, let me zoom out a little bit. Sorry. Um, so it's not bad. Um, so a lot of these really long inner notes, I mean, that's really easy what to do. Um, if, you're, if you're apprehensive of how to trim these things, um, if the nodes are too long, um, just whack it back. I mean, that's part of the, like that might look at that node. I mean, that, that. <clears throat> and this is a good time, of, good time of year to do it too. Uh, if your nodes are really long, you can always cut it back to the previous node um, and that will promote um, a lot of growth. Also a good time to check uh, for any more uh, powdery mildew, fungus, pests. This is a good time of year to do that. And so if you're looking at that, um, you can see I'm just, I'm just trimming straight out outdoors. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's much cooler than inside. I'm, I'm sorry. It's getting that summer heat coming. And I'm looking for shorter nodes at this point. Doing the same thing with the back. I did feed it once already, and this is the second feeding. Um, I did feed it early March uh, once it got warm. Um, and the reason why I did that is I just, I want the stronger your tree is, um, the more um, it will push growth, and the more you can actually. Um, do with your tree if you start with a really weak tree it is hard for it to push growth and it's hard for you to push it back again the nose roots is way too long and that's kind of the philosophy that um i picked up from michael roberts um, i mean his his elms is, is his cork oaks, they're all, I mean, even his other trees are really strong. And his philosophy is the more you, the more you, the more you feed it, the stronger the tree, the stronger the tree will spawn to cut. I'm just cutting nodes are just a little bit too strong. And you saw how um, lanky it was um, the first time I did this tree last year. And I've been, it got hit hard with powdery mildew last year. Um, um, and that could be um, the really weird weather we had last year. Um, 
I'm not sure. Um, it was much cooler last year. Um, and then we finally got the heat up the last couple of weeks. Um, and that sh usually helps the powdery mildew subside. And then we're going to get that summer scorch in the next couple of weeks. So um, I'm just kind of preparing that right now. There's a little bit of powdery mildew back here a little bit. You guys can't see. Um, that was from the last time. So I will spray. Uh, fungicide one more time tomorrow morning uh, early in the morning um, so it doesn't can dry off power mildew could be um, just lack of um, lack of airflow and you see how dense these trees are um, but if you see my other maples I grow them pretty dense um, that's my ammo and I'm just going in, any, any branches are just more than two nodes long, cutting it out, really strong areas, just kind of thin them out. Again, I'm trying to get a little more airflow in. And I'm leaf cutting at the same time if, uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing. pretty much it. Now, if you guys have any uh, Japanese maples, uh, and then you're growing in a very similar manner, uh, leave it in the comments. See how you guys are doing. I'd love to see, uh, um, hear from you guys. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'll probably feed it again um, in about two months. So August, I'll feed it one more time. Um, and then I think this guy probably needs a repot uh, next year. It looks like it. It's getting really hard to penetrate. A lot of a lot of weeds are growing on top. Um, but yeah, Hope if you guys made it this far, uh, thank you. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like, and uh, leave a comment. You know, I'd love to hear from you guys. I'll, other than that, thank you. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.